is going on YouTube? This is your favorite teddy bear right now. And today, I want to talk about our gamers athletes. Now, it, it, it's a big debate online. It's always been a debate. Um, you know, even is gaming a sport. And I'm going to kind of hit on that too. Um, I believe that they are not athletes because the definition in the Oxford Dictionary is skilled performer in sports and physical activity. Now, we all can agree that there is no physical activity that comes with gaming. It's all mental. It's all... You're not a mental case, but it makes you think. You know, you have to make quick decisions. Your reflexes have to be awesome. You know, all that kind of stuff. Um, I personally uh, consider gaming a sport because of that. Um, but one of my friends, Blue Pipe, awesome dude. Go check him out. He's got a YouTube channel. Link in the description. He has come up with athletes, Electronic <laughs> electronic athletes. Now that's how I take it. I mean, you can take it anyway in blue pipe. I might be completely off base of what you mean, but that's that's kind of what I'm thinking because yes, it's not a physical sport. It's more of a virtual sport, but that does not take away the matter that it takes skill and you have to have a huge work ethic. Because you have to practice hours on hours on hours. And if you don't, you're not going to have the capability to perform at that level. Like, if you're an MLG uh, pro team, if you're part of the pro team, one of the pro teams in MLG, you know, you've got to make sure that um, you're on point with your entire team. You guys mesh. And the communication is key with all the call-outs. Um, you know, in you have to love like what you do. You have to love your fans because if you're just doing this to do it to pass time, number one, you're not gonna have fun with it. Number two, if you're not having fun with it, you're not gonna do well. Um, excuse me. Uh, a lot of people say that it's just an independent um gaming thing, you know, system and whatever. Um, but that's not true because you've got teams. And uh, some of those teams are like Phase, Optic, Onslaught, you know, even Departed Gaming. We're trying to kind of get into that uh, that scene. And with that comes rivalries, especially like Phase versus Optic. There's a lot of people that are like, oh, I like Optic or I like Phase. And if someone's like, oh, well, you're lame because you like Optic, well, all, all Phase does is trick shotting. And don't get me wrong, what they do is awesome, but I'm personally pro optic. I, you know, they're they're a little bit more professional. They do a little bit dif uh, different stuff. I'm not much for the trick shotting. I mean, that's, like I said, that's just me. There's a lot of people that would disagree, and I know they're like screaming at their screens right now saying, Teddy, are you crazy? Like, no trick shotting? Sorry, guys. I mean, that's just... Uh, something that I don't look at. Um, another thing is, there's a lot of money to be made. Plenty of money. Um, excuse me. <laughs> I'm out of breath for some reason. Um, you know, you, you go in and there's there's sometimes buy-ins for different uh, different things. And like I said, um, last, last video about how everything's very, very expensive. Um, this way, I mean... You're earning your money back. You know, you're taking all of those expensive things that you have to buy. And if you're good enough and you're ready for MLG circuit or the UMG circuit, you can make that money back times whatever. Um, so, I mean, to me, it's a sport. Uh, one of the other things that I find absolutely hilarious is that chess is considered a sport. But not only considered a sport, but they are recognized by the Olympic Committee. And they have been recognized by the uh, Olympic Committee since the year 2000. And it is also in the Olympics. Wait a second. Whoa. That's kind of weird to me. I mean, you, you want to talk about just sitting there and moving, 
moving pieces. Well, it does take the same mental capability and skill level because you have to anticipate what your um, opponent is going to do and where they're pe- where they're going to move their pieces. So, and sometimes, and most times, I believe that the stuff is ti- the moves are timed. But like I said, <laughs> it is you know it is what it is. But I, it's just me. Um, one of the big things that I hear all the time, and this is, you know, this is me because I am a marching band geek. I have been a marching band geek since my seventh grade year. I will always be a marching band geek. You cannot take that out of me. Um, there's a lot of people that say marching band is not a sport. Well, okay, yeah, you know, there's no ball, there's no, oh, but wait. We're considering gaming and chess a sport. So why can't marching band be considered a sport? Because you have to do so many things at once. Like your horn angle, you have to make sure that it's perfect. Depending on what instrument you use. I mean, if you're using a sax, it's a little bit different. Clarinet, again, a little bit different. But a flute or a trumpet, you've got to make sure that you're at that perfect horn angle that is required by your band director. Um, not only that, but you have your routings and where you're going on the field, um, and how many, how many yards you have to go, how many steps, uh, you have to make sure you're in step, um, you have to memorize music, which, with that, is not only just looking at the notes on the page, but you have to understand the time signatures, the key signatures, and I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty, I'm just explaining some of that stuff. Um, and you also have to be able to read and remember what notes are where and the rhythms. And in that case, the melodies and the harmonies and whatever. Um, you also, the you know, that's the most, that's both mental and physical. But the big physical thing is you have to hold your instrument for long periods of time. A lot of halftime shows go about anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes and about i want to say maybe two and a half minutes of that time you know you don't you, actually i'd say less um your your horn is constantly up you know you have to look good you have to make sure your horns up and just make sure that's all good um another thing is that the parades okay the parades are horrible because um, I was in the uh, Music Days parade uh, down in Walt Disney World, and I'll tell you what, we had to wear our full uniforms, and those things are made out of wool, so it's disgusting. Um, but you guys, you know, and uh, oh, and one of my favorite things, um, my band director, <laughs> you know, all band kids go through this. Uh, one more time means approximately about a hundred times if you're lucky. But, you know, going back to the gaming, I mean, if, you know, if chess and marching band can be considered a sport, gaming, in my eyes, is considered a sport. And we're not just gamers, and we're not athletes, we're athletes. I really like that coin um, by Blue Pipe again. It, it's just awesome. And I, to be honest, I really wish gaming, to some extent, would be involved uh, with the Olympics. I mean, that, again, that's just me. That's my personal opinion. I really hope that uh, maybe it could get a little more known because people are like, oh, what, MLG? And I'm like, they're like, MLB? And I'm like, no, MLG, Major League Gaming. Major League Gaming? What? But, you know, so it's not very well known unless you are a big gamer. Alright guys, I just want to say thank you and a couple shout outs here. Departed Gaming, all of you guys, you know I love you very, very much. Um, we are sponsors, No Scope Glasses, Cinch Gaming. Uh, you can go ahead and get 5% off if you use the promo code um, DGAM. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Oh, you're still here? Awesome. Do me a favor. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and drop a comment. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!